Financial issues. My name is Dan Siri. It's great to be here. Uh, we got a lot of things to talk about. It's Thursday. We've had lots of economic news uh, this morning. Not lots, but we've had a number of things that I need to cover and talk about. Uh, a lot of things. Got a lot of emails. You know, I forgot to mention yesterday um, the the two hours that I slept the evening of the election. Um, and during uh, the election coverage, you know, I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Um, you know, if there were emails coming in or whatever. But I got up about, well, I, I distinctly remember it was 3.20 when I got out of bed. Didn't get in there till about 1. I had th- over 3,300 emails. So if you emailed me, I might have seen it. I don't know. But um, I, was, I was trying to get through them at least read some of them. I did read some of them. I did not read all of them. I'm not going to deny it. I didn't. I had to make some block kind of uh, deletions, but um, I did, I did read some and uh, got some great comments and, you know, I, I appreciate that, but just being honest about that, it was crazy. It was amazing to me. I was, I was excited in some respects as to how, how uh, people were just paying attention. So it was pretty amazing. I said this yesterday, I said it again today, I'm not going to be talking about what, because I heard this, I got, I'm still getting emails on this, um, you, you need to understand, I'm not worried about what Romney didn't do, what he should have do, what he could have done, what, um, what he, you know, what he should have done, I, it, it just doesn't matter, it's November 8th, okay, so none of that matters, maybe, maybe there are some lessons to be learned, uh, those lessons are going to be maybe possibly, unlikely, but could be learned by the GOP for the next election. We'll worry about that in three and a half years, but we'll, we'll see about that. I'm not worrying about it. There's nothing we can do about it. What I'm trying to do is do a little analytical work as to what can we do to prepare. And I'll tell you something. I, I worked uh, last night uh, longer than I would have liked to, and this morning very, very early. I'm trying to, my goal is to prepare you for what is to come, uh, give you some cautionary kinds of things, things that we must prepare for. I am going to take a page out of some, some things that are going on in uh, corporate America as they might prepare for these things. So I'm going to look at those kinds of things. I'm going to talk about uh, the fiscal cliff. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I am going to take your phone calls, but I am not going to take your phone calls in reference to all the mistakes that the GOP did. So just give you a heads up. Let's all get on the same page at looking towards the future, the future of America, what it may look like, what it's going to look like, uh, what is happening uh, in our economic system and structure, our economy here and our and the economy globally, because we have to look at that. Some very interesting news coming out globally. I want to talk about. I want to talk a little bit about the OPEC meeting yesterday. A uh, couple things like that, so that we're going to kind of get on the on the right track here. But we're going to do that uh, this morning. Uh, we are going to open up the phone lines. Triple eight five eight nine eighty eight forty. 888-589-8840. Uh, the next, in the next uh, segment, and I'll start queuing up those calls at 888-589-8840. Job numbers came out this morning. Now, remember, if you last week when we talked about the job numbers, the Thursday morning job numbers that came out, I said it's probably going to be the last realistic uh, job number report that we get. Uh, I said that last week. And in fact, that is the case, in my opinion. We got uh, those filing for unemployment claims at 355,000 as a drop by 8,000. But remember that these numbers are skewed because of Sandy. So you got to understand that there were a lot of people that did not file for claims, that did not get and were unable to file for claims. There were offices that were shut down because of a lack of electricity, so they did not get uh, those numbers in. It is a skewed number, and it is likely to be a skewed number next week. It's not all that accurate. Now, this is, this is a time of year where the numbers should be coming down due to the holiday season and such. 
on the hiring that's going on. But it's not an accurate number, so uh, it's nothing to get excited about. And in fact, I, I doubt very seriously that anybody on uh, in the financial world that will even be reporting these, regardless of uh, the left or the right, are going to take this number very, very serious because of that. So the other uh, number that came out were the, was the trade deficit. We're still running a deficit, of course we will. But it did, it, it is a little bit smaller, okay? It did uh, slow a little bit, did contract a little bit. Trade deficit was 40, 41.5. Um, so, you know, that's, the, as a matter of fact, that's the lowest it's been since 2010. I think September of 2010. But it's the lowest it's been in a long time, so that's some good news. But there's a lot of factors in that as well. We have got to talk a little bit about um, what is going on in Europe. And, you know, we've been hearing so much. You're going to continue to hear an awful lot about the fiscal cliff. And we, America, has to prepare for that fiscal cliff. We have to uh, prepare for it um, and be, be prepared for the fiscal cliff that we're talking about here in the U.S. Now, if you follow me on Facebook or you see me on Twitter, you kind of have the idea and get the uh, distinct impression that I don't have a whole lot of faith in the GOP, right? Um, I sent out something on Facebook this morning, facebook.com slash financial issues, my Facebook page, sent it out on Twitter at financial issues. It was in reference to John Boehner and his comments yesterday. Again, uh, I have no faith in his comments. Um, you know, he talked about, you know, this is a time for change and so on and so forth. We'll see. And the question that I posed uh, to John Boehner was the question or the comments that he posed to the president and the Democrats. And I basically said, I disagree with your comments. Um, This is me speaking to John Boehner on my Twitter uh, page. I said, I disagree with your comments. And and his comments were, you know, basically talking about uh, this is your moment. This is your moment. And speaking about the president and the fiscal cliff. I said, I disagree with that. I think this is your moment, Mr. Boehner. And, you know, the question is, will you have some guts or are you going to wimp out like you did the last time we tried to raise the deficit limit? My, my money, if I were a betting man, would be on the wimping out part. But, you know, this is going to be a question for the leader. Are you? Mr. Boehner, going to seize this moment to put into practice some of the things that all the GOP have been talking about, the fiscal cliff and caring about America. 